such a pleasure to speak to you. I'm, I'm fine. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, I'm so curious about all the changes that are made. Um, obviously, we don't have time to discuss them all. But specifically, in terms of the genders that are different in the film, was this a gradual development? Or um, did it maybe, like, was this a gradual development? Was it a deliberate um, decision to change most of the genders uh, from the book to the film? Uh, I decided pretty early on. I mean, the, pr the primary one is that the parents' genders are switched. Marin's parents' genders. And I... I was nervous about writing the film at first until I had spoken with the author a number of times because I wanted to make sure that, that a man could write this story as well as a, a, a female screenwriter because it is a coming of age story of a young woman. And one of the things I pitched to the author to make sure that she felt like I was a good steward of this story was that Marin would be looking for her mother instead of her father and tried to articulate that I thought for a young person, particularly a young woman who is going through this this horrific understanding of what her body needs, that the guidance of a, the absence of the guidance of a mother would somehow be more, would have more pathos than the absence of the guidance of a father. Because, the, because there could be empathy between a mother and a daughter about specifically how this condition sits inside of a female psyche. And so when I pitched that to Camille, she said, I wish I had thought of that. I think that's wonderful. And so I felt really confident that I was kind of going in the right direction with it. Uh, for instance, uh, the carnival scene, was this something that Luca maybe suggested uh, or was this also your idea? That was in the script and the reason for that was mainly because in the book it's a woman and there's a moment when Marin sees it happening and there's a little bit of envy in that moment that she's wondering whether Lee, her lover at that point, is getting something sort of sexual out of it. And I wanted to take that off the table because in that scene, strangely, it is a gift that Lee is giving Marin. And I wanted it to feel unadulterated by jealousy, which meant changing the gender. And it was a, it's, it's a very, it's a really odd scene now because you don't quite know what Lee's motivations are or, <laughs> or why. But it felt, it just felt like it was a cleaner way to show the audience that he's doing this for her. And if there is some energy there that you, were, you weren't expecting, it's, a, it's something else to bring into the sort of metaphoric aspect of the film is any, any way that a young person can be marginalized is sort of on the table in this film. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the cannibalism is front and center and, and that's as it should be, but there are lots of other ways that young people get pushed to the side and this, this is one of them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good to meet you.